YouTube! What the crap is going on? Air of Carthage here, back with the Carthage campaign. Um, by this point, I have heard about the Hannibal at the Gates um, expansion. Any episode you watched up to this, I hadn't seen it yet, because I recorded uh, kind of a lump of them at the end of last week. So I'm going to record another lump of these here, and hopefully we'll get to the end. Um, let's look at our objectives again, just to... Uh, see how close we are so that Air understands what it is he needs to do to win. I need to completely control Syria, which I believe... Yeah, means I have to capture Dura. Um, which is over here. Yep, so as soon as I get Dura, I control the province of Syria. And then if we look at the other remaining ultimate objectives, I have to have control of 60 ports, and right now I have 50. Everything else has been obtained. And the Bosphorus, when I allied myself with the Sumerians, then that um, gave me more port cities, and also, well, I think the port cities count through alliances. Yeah, military allies. So that gave me more port cities, as well as uh, control of the Bosphorus, which is one of the required settlements without having to go to war, which is nice. So in Shogun 2, um, and I'm not bashing it, it was its own, um, it was kind of its own dynamic. I, I like the fact that not everybody turns against you in late game in Rome 2. You still get to choose your wars, and the Civil War kind of provides that, that Realm Divide type challenge. And I'm not saying I like exactly how the Civil War is set up, but I like it better than Realm Divide. And the reason I say that is because I, it would be freaking annoying if everybody on the map turned on you because there's a trillion factions on here, and it would just be horrible um, to try and deal with. And people may be like, well, that's a challenge. Uh, it's just annoying in my opinion. But then again, maybe Air's just a whiny complainer. So, let's see. Sorry, it's just making sure it's on the right scene real quick. Because sometimes I forget whether or not I switched over. Um, see what was going on over here. This army was back to Kort Hadash. Um, I'm just making sure I'm caught up. Yeah, we smashed the slaves. They're these guys. Um, we're probably headed to Gaul. So let's just march them over sea. Oh, these guys are taking attrition. Is it just because of where they're at? Or there's Nova Carthago? No, they're not starving to death in general. Well, that's good. They haven't been a real helpful ally, but they did help take care of the last few um, Adirum fleets, which was extremely helpful. This army can't yet go after Limonum. Uh, because of this stinking, annoying Gallic agent, and I don't have any agents in this area anymore because the one I had died. I think I have... Well, actually, you know what? I can train some spies. So, perfect. And I need some agents over here. I have more of some of the other agents, but I don't have too many spies. So, and spies are pretty useful. Well, from commerce... This person starts off with more assassination chances, which is great. And, oh, I do have an agent here. Must have gotten wounded or something. 80% chance of a positive outcome. Pretty good chance of wounding. Let's, see, boy, let's try this uh, poison. Sweet! Get rid of the Gallic agent. That's fantastic. Let's go ahead and, uh, well, actually, I can't recruit any more spies there. I thought it said I had two of four. I do have two of four. So why can't I recruit another one? Money! That's why. <laughs> well, I'm a super genius. Uh, and this army was marching around to M Limonum. I was actually kind of trespassing against the Iceni, which is probably not the smartest thing I've ever done. And the Caledones are actually pretty friendly towards me. I'd really like to get a military alliance with them, uh, rather than go to war with them, but if I have to, I'll go to war with them. Sit, friend, and let us talk, and let us have good They're not yet interested in a military alliance, no or a defensive alliance. They're at war with the Arverni, which I am as well, and they're defensively, or they're military allied to the Iceni, so I wonder if I could get the Iceni if I could get either one of them to join Welcome, me. Worthy friend. See, they Let do kind of feel like a defensive alliance. Words pass our lips. Not like a military alliance, but this would be good. Anything I can get kind of helps soften them up to me. Yes. So, let's see. Oops, sorry, wrong button. 
The politics don't really matter after the um, Civil War. So I don't really have to mess with it. Let's see. Caledonese. Greetings, friend. I've called for good ale to ease your throat and... Oh, I don't have any pain. Right, for him, women so. to other... We'll uh, just wait a turn and see what happens. So I'm pretty much out of money for this turn, so there's nothing I can do there. Um, well, there's nothing I can do to build in the settlements either because I've spent all my money. So let's go on to the... Um, oh, those are the faction scroll. Let's go to the events. Forces. Who's got movement points left? Well, I can't do anything with them because I don't have any money. Scions of Sidon. How did I... Oh, I accidentally clicked on my paintbrush. My bad. Um, this army... Or navy, my bad. Needs to keep moving over here. And what was... I think... This army... Oh yeah, this army was going to come up here. Because these factions up here broke their agreements with me. That's the Markamani. I'm not worried about them. I think it was these guys, maybe. I'll, I'll look and see which one it was. Anyway, the Tusk of Destiny are now in Navisus. Um, Heralds of the 104. These guys can move to Velothri. Bane of Rome is in Phasis, and we've met up with our allies there, so just got done vanquishing the Persians. The Kartli seem to be... let's take a look at Diplomacy. They dislike me because of my um, alliance with the Sumerians and my military actions against the Armenians, but let's... sorry I didn't look right here, let's uh, take one, one last look at something. If I attack them, it's not going to harm me because they have no allies. And it wouldn't hurt me to go ahead and take their province. And it looks like Samaria is in charge of Samandar. And then I can push forward to Gabala from there. So it's the next logical step. Um, Phasis can probably hold out on its own. Yeah, it's doing fine. I've done a lot of research, which really helps lower the, uh, the public order penalties. That's something I highly suggest. So let's see. We're going to declare war. And I'm not going to call my allies to help just in case someone doesn't want to join. It's not really important for me that they join. And they don't really have anything worth fighting either, just some cheap spears and axes. But they probably will kill my elephants if I had to resolve it. So guess what? We get to fight it. That reminds me I forgot to turn my timer on. All right. Um, actually, well, I have ladders. Should be good. Oh, and I have siege engines. So let's just assault them. Get this over with. Yeah, I'm worried if I auto-resolve it, they're going to kill my general or something. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and fight it. Give me a chance to use my troops. Haven't done a siege battle in a little while. I have no idea how to pronounce that. There's way too many consonants all in a row. There's like five consonants in a row. Yeah, that's not real common in the English language, so I'm not really sure where to go with that. <laughs> But it doesn't surprise me. I've never been to this part of the world. I don't speak any language of this part of the world. And it shouldn't surprise me that I can't understand how to pronounce that stuff, even when it's probably been put into English. Or maybe it's not into English, just written English characters. I don't know. One way or the other, we're going to attack the Cartley here. So let's start a deployment. Um, to be quite honest, the letters seem wholly unnecessary. Uh, and there's a gate. Well, let's do this. I'm gonna put my ballista here. And what are your orders? Baal Hamon has blessed us. My hapotes are pretty darn strong, and they're the most missile resistant, so I'll leave them on the ladders. that I can more easily recognize. Let's get a couple of units of Peltis to screen for these guys. A couple more units to screen here. Oh, no, just 
one will be good. Okay. Um, got some citizen cav and Numidian cav. And my general, of course. And then the remainder of my infantry I'll put here. Here. And you guys can go out of fire at will. Alright, let's start the battle. And essentially, I want to destroy these arrow towers. And I'll just use my ladders to get over the wall. I don't really need to use my ballista to punch holes. Enemy wall. reinforcements approaching. So I'm gonna fast forward rather than let you watch these rocks bouncing off the arrow tower. I've also done research apparently that gets me more the ammo, which is crazy helpful. Destroyed. If you ever see a research thing that gives you more ammo for missiles or siege equipment, by all means take it. It is totally worthwhile. Okay, that tower is destroyed. The enemy's tower has been destroyed. And let's do that one. All right. So we've got those towers taken care of, which means I'm gonna go ahead. Whoa! Fan freaking tastic, Gary. You let your calves get bushwhacked because you forgot they had reinforcements. Uh, you can drop the ladder there, geniuses. Uh, my citizen Cav, darn Neil, got uh, got killed by that noble blood Cav. I guess that's what I get for not paying attention, but I've got my Hapotes into him here. And, uh, except the noble blood Cav is going to keep coming after my Cav. They really want to finish it off. The enemy's tower has been destroyed. Okay. Well, let's take these guys. Go ahead and get on the wall. I uh, destroyed the other tower. So. Let's get these guys on the... No, not to the same place there, gents. Um, I think I need those skirmishers over here, actually. So let's pull these guys over here. I think my citizen calf should be able to live. That noble blood calf's getting pretty torn up by my Libyans. They have quite a bit of increased attack, plus 25 bonus first calf, so that should, should fare well for me. Alright, so let's kill some of these skirmishers that are heading to the walls. The Actually, enemy general they're kind of all breaking up in different spots. I'm really, honestly, let's just bust a hole in the wall for my cab to get through. Looks like those skirmishers are coming up here to um, to counter my movements with the ladder, so I guess I will go ahead and screen with these skirmishers. Do I need any down? Doesn't really look like I need any down there. Let's get these guys back on the ladder. Pull these guys over here, and I'll pull these guys up this way just in case they're needed. And I'll just come over here and screen their approach. Alright, my ballista are busting down a hole in this wall so I can get my cab through. There are some slingers over here, eastern slingers too, so those are pretty good ones. Let's hit him with some javelins. Actually, I don't want to bring that infantry up there because they have so many skirmishers on the wall. Their skirmishers over here actually ran off. So I'm going to be able to get a hold of this wall, get some men on it. And that wall is about to collapse there. Some Peltist are in range. Let's see if I can kill those guys. I don't really have a very good angle. Peltists don't do super well in this position. Archers are actually better at getting these kind of shots. The walls are breached. But this is better than nothing. Ready. Have to get some hop lights on the wall there. Ready. I'm gonna Peltas. bring up these peltists. Try to hit these guys, and I've got two ladders almost at the wall there. So we're actually in a uh, pretty darn good shape. Not that there's too much resistance, but I mean, doing a pretty good job of moving up without taking uh, insane losses. These late Carthaginian hoplites will be at the top of that ladder momentarily. And these Peltists are actually going to have a better angle over here and, and probably get some decent kills, actually. The battle is turning in our favor. Yeah, that does not surprise me. These guys honestly didn't have much of a chance. 
Libyan cultist can go ahead and pull out of that fight. Move up here. Okay, honestly don't even uh, need my ballista, but I'll move him up just in case I get a chance to get some shots. Got some eastern slingers down at ground level now taking pot shots at me. really have any good tough cavalry to take in there, so I'm a little hesitant to move in because my melee cab is fairly fairly weak, and there's eastern spearmen stuff around that would do me some decent harm. This gatehouse is nearly under my control, and these late Carthaginian hoplites are doing great against these slingers, which is to be expected. We have captured the gates. Okay. Bring these guys down over here. So my two, actually, I just want. Let's just bring these units that aren't destroyed over here. Let's get my swords inside. All right, and then these two guys are coming down off the walls over here. They're ooh, they're about to get met by a pretty sizable force, though. It's okay, we should be alright. Should have a superior position. Plus I've got cab support coming in if needed. And I'm through the walls here, which means I can put it into those slingers there. Perfect. Alright, so I'm actually gonna get set up this way. Drop those guys into a hoplite phalanx. And then I'll move up here. Take control of this angle. Alright, so I've got control of that entry. And all the slingers over here are dead, which means these gates are going to be in my control as well. The slingers are running away from me. That's fine, I kind of need to... I kind of need to get these Libyan infantry around here anyway, so... Go ahead and engage. I was getting a little bit of lag there for a second. Still getting it. Not sure why that is. Alright, so they've actually come up here and engaged my, my hoplite wall. I'm gonna try and. There's an arrow tower over there, but I'm gonna try and bring these cab units in from over here into the town square. We've got Libyan infantry putting all kinds of pressure on these eastern spearmen. They're not going to last. The slingers are now gone. Alright. Kind of surprised we're not busting through those people any quicker than we are. What is this, a hillman? So I'm going to go ahead and take this hillman head on. It's going to go into a shield wall. The AI is pretty good about bracing now, but... I mean, how much can Hillman brace for a fairly heavy melee cab charge? They should get chewed up in that fight. That's not going to be their kind of fight. And I'm about to hit the flank of these. Hit the flank of my swordsman right here. So yeah, these, these guys are not going to fare well under those circumstances. Those Hillmen are holding out longer than I'd like, but they're really not getting many kills, which I didn't expect them to. They have these uh, Cartley Axemen here. I'm going to charge my melee cab into them at the Hillman's gun. That ought to be a fight my melee cab actually does alright at. Check it out, these Eastern Spearmen trying to assault my, uh, my Hoplite Phalanx. Carthaginian uh, Hoplites are actually some of the most cost-effective in the game. Um, so, a uh, very sturdy unit. They can last for quite a long time in just about any fight. Those axemen just got slammed into by my, my cav. And they're starting to lose men. And the rest of their troops are starting to falter. So now I've got swordsmen in the back of them as well. These guys are not really... There we go. I'm trying to get them out of formation so they'll actually get in here and attack. But they're still not really quiet. 
upgrading. There we go. We just crunched the rest of that infantry and then they routed. Alright. That's going to be the end of the Cartley. <clears throat> and that's going to be the end of this episode. So, uh, pretty good battle for us. Only 201 losses. Pretty much slew them. And hey, look at that auto-resolve. Not a single one of my elephants died. <laughs> that's one of those things that I can't wait for to get patched. I think I've heard CA mention it. So, it's something that I hope is on the way. Taking a look at the auto-resolve. In any case, Air of Carthage, signing off for now.